have to say now, whatever happens, it's a tall oh, order for Robert Thornton. He's got to win four straight sets to survive. Phil Taylor has done a fantastic job. And in that set, there were times where he just dipped below his best. And Robert started the set well, had certainly raised the bar in terms of his performance, played the best start to the game, Thornton, but still lost the set. I think he's suffering with the heat up there, he keeps retreating to that part of the stage, which is a little cooler. Andy Hamilton made the point, it's like an oven up there. I think Thornton is boiling over, physically, he's struggling with the heat. It is, it is very warm in here today. You, Corner, well, it? Absolutely, it's like a sauna. And I find it amazing some of the people in fancy dress in this heat. Some of the Christmas jumpers we've seen here over the last few days. Nice woolly jumpers in a in a heated auditorium that resembles a sauna. And Phil Taylor is the best at virtually everything, but one of the things he is 96. really good at is ignoring any problems he can't control, like the heat. And he will just tell himself it's not hot, or he's hotter than me and he's suffering more than me and I'll just carry on. Mentally very tough. 59. So, Taylor 104 ahead, but this is a nice visit from uh, Robert Thornton. Or it was it had the potential to be two trouble twenties. That's more like it. Can't find a trouble here, Phil. Sixty. Only sixty. Leaves a ton. Robert, you require one hundred and thirty-nine. Well, one three nine is tricky. See the combo there. It's a rather higgledy piggledy round the board affair. I just wonder what's going through Robert Thornton's Ten mind now. 3 0 down. Body language suggests he's far from happy up there. We can do, go to tops here. Well, this is an opportunity Six now for Robert Thornton Robert, for a break of throw at the start two. of the fourth set. 12. Leaves tops. Don't shake your head, Robert. You talk yourself out of it. I think he talked himself out of hitting that. I really do. It was almost as if he never believed he was ever going to hit it. 40. Well, a shake of the head from Thornton. Tops for Taylor. Just going to come down. Oh. Now double 15. Oh. He's got away with that one. Hence the reaction. He knows it. But that is a fantastic finish at double 15. Yeah, John Bowles had one of those earlier in the week. A double five, double fifteen. Treble, treble, treble! 121. I think he's suffering up there physically, Robert Thornton. He really is, but he's also suffering mentally. And uh, Phil Taylor has never been a man to ease up. He said for the first time in his life he was feeling sorry for an opponent the other day when he was talking about Jerry Hendricks. Which is an incredible admission for a man who usually likes just to trample over anything that's in his way, stopping him winning darts tournaments. Yeah, and commenting on the the later a game goes on into an evening, it gets harder for him at the age of 52. Perfectly understandable. I know it's hard to believe, or it has been so hard to believe throughout 32. his career, but he is only human. Phil knows he can afford to let this leg go. A huge cushion, Phil Taylor, and surely one foot in the quarterfinals now where he would face Andrew Hamilton in a Stoke on Trent Derby clash. Hamilton who came within one Robert dart of beating Phil Taylor at the Players' years. Championship. But you can't confuse that kind of tournament with this. This is a very different kettle of fish. That was a race to ten legs. This is the biggest championship of them all. The one that really matters. Yes. 
96. Oh, 48 has to go, otherwise. 48. Thornton to the brink of defeat, Nigel. Topsy needs now. Robert Thornton. Double 10. Oh. 38. Well, now he's missed what? Nine missed doubles. Failure Robert required, Thornton. It's just not his night, is it? He may yet be back for a shot at double five. But Taylor looking absolutely clinical for one leg away yeah, from the match. The, the power Fitzgerald. surges on and he has the darts. And dare I say it, this could Taylor. be over in the next few minutes. The match of the day has become the mismatch of the day. Taylor is handing out a tonking to Thornton. He'd had the temerity to defeat him twice in televised contests, UK Open final and second round of the Grand Prix in Dublin. Taylor doesn't forget. No, and a revenge mission. And at the end of the year, at the end of the end the year, going into Christmas, just a little final word from Phil against Robert Thornton really just putting the record straight with a a good display still more to come from the power but he's really kicking on here it's just not been this man's night but what a year he's had Robert Thornton let's just say that he's been Six. tremendous it's good to see him back on the big stage that UK Open win in June was memorable to say the least he is a top, top quality player, Robert Thornton, who just hasn't found top form against this man tonight. And uh, Taylor is clinical when it matters here, Rod. This is a proper leg of darts. He's left uh, 81 after nine thrown. And he's potentially just two darts away. Robert Thornton has won only three legs here. That's all the crumbs that have come from Taylor's table. Double 12 for the match yes, and a brilliant yes, exhibition. Yes, a message sent out from Phil Taylor. You beat me once, you beat me twice. You do not beat me three times in televised tournaments on the trot, Robert Thornton. And Phil Taylor is safely through to the quarterfinals of the World Championship. And after the Christmas festivities are over, he will meet Andy Hamilton in the last eight. Taylor four, Thornton nil. Rod Harrington's with me in the studio. Assess that Phil Taylor performance for us, Rod. Well, it, it ain't vintage Phil, as he in 104, 105, 108 average, but 97 is a good performance, 55% on doubles. What Phil seems to be doing is just beating the people that are in front of him and doing it convincingly. It's a, it's a massive step up in averages as well from 90 and 93 from the first round. Yeah, I think Phil has looked at it and seen how well the other players are playing and thinking, you know, I've got to do that, otherwise a lot more people are going to start saying I've got no chance to, to lift the trophy. But uh, I think Phil will be, you know, 75% pleased with that performance. Brilliant first match with the Michael Van Gerwen against Peter Wright. Could Taylor live with what Van Gerwen was throwing at Wright? Well, if you take them stats against Van Gerwen, say, last four, step, last four sets, then no, he can't live with him at the moment.